Alright guys, as you may or may not already know, I really love Zio drinks. Zio Zest has got to be my favourite drink there's ever been and I've got a ton of their glass bottles left. I save them all. They've got a really nice shape and they've got a slight twist to the neck and I've been thinking of different ideas of how I could use them. In this video I'm just going to show you one of these ideas I've had, so I hope you like it. I wanted to start by cutting the bottle in half, so I wrapped some string round and soaked it in nail polish remover. then just had to set it on fire but that didn't work so I then had a bright idea of using Vaseline now do bear in mind you may get some funny looks if you buy Vaseline and string in the same shop the Vaseline is basically petroleum jelly but it was having trouble igniting using the string so I changed to using normal kitchen towel and that worked a lot better got it to break this time but not cleanly so I broke down and I got a glass cutter using a roller tape I can keep the line the same distance all the way around grab the candle, it hasn't got to be a Christmas candle believe me, any candle will work. Then I made sure to rotate the line I just scored with the glass cutter over the heat of the flame, just keep turning it. And then I applied a block of ice to try and produce the crack, as you can see it worked most of the way through, but wasn't enough to break it so I repeated this step. A second try and it made it all the way through. Then I just needed to sand the edges smooth. I did try using a power sander but that didn't turn out too good. To make the bases I just used some scrap walnut. That larger scrap is from the cameo silhouette lamp that I made, that's why it's a bit of a funny shape. Just clamp that up, let the glue dry, and I could cut out the blanks from that. As you can see, the saw produces quite a nice saw pattern that I've got to get rid of with a belt sander. I could then make the block square. smooth again on the belt sander. I square up the edges with a mitre saw and cut the block in half. I wanted to add a taper on all four sides so I measured in 5mm and used the belt sander to create that taper. In order to sink the bottle capping, I used the force a bit, which was 30mm. Originally, I drilled the hole to make the bottle cap flush with the top, but I ended up drilling the hole a bit further down so that the bottle would look nicer from the side. Again, I'm going to use my favourite material, milliput, to stick the cap into place. This is just an epoxy putty. Off camera, I gave the base a couple of coats of spray lacquer. I really like how the bottle screws into the base, it makes it much easier to clean and I haven't got to worry about the wood getting wet.
So that's it then guys. I just wanted to try the idea out really. A way to use up all these old bottles, save them going into landfill or at least you're recycling them yourself. I really hope you liked this video and the idea. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you want to leave a comment, if you've got any questions, anything like that, I answer all comments. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, please do so. I do loads of different videos. Not just these project videos, I do quick tips, reviews and all kinds of things like that. So I'm sure that there'll be something that you all enjoy. If you'd like to share this video with your friends, please do so. Please share it, it's a massive help to me. Perhaps you know somebody who likes upcycling and recycling old bits of junk and everything that would be thrown away but give it a new lease of life. Maybe they might like this idea. So thank you all again for watching.